the 7th of July of this year, the Home Secretary, Theresa May, made a statement to the House concerning issues of child abuse. She announced an inquiry which had two elements to it. The first was an inquiry into the suggestion that in the 1980s the Home Office had failed to properly investigate allegations of uh, child abuse uh, perpetrated allegedly by senior members of the government and related organisations. Uh, the second aspect of concern which the inquiry would address was the failure of institutions charged with child protection at the time to properly investigate and take their responsibilities seriously. An inquiry was set up by Theresa May in her statement. It's to be chaired by Peter Wanless, the chair of the NSPCC, assisted by a senior legal figure yet to be identified. What are the implications for individuals that may be identified as potential suspects? During the course of the inquiry, individuals will be identified as potential suspects. And there are two important issues for those individuals to engage with lawyers at an early stage. Firstly, they need to ensure that the inquiry is conducted in such a way that their right to a fair trial is not prejudiced. Secondly, they need to engage with lawyers to negotiate with the authorities, whether that be the police or any other body, that if they are to be interviewed, it is done in such a way that the publicity is minimised. For instance, if they're to be interviewed under criminal caution, uh, then that is done as a volunteer and not under arrest. As necessary, that will involve unpleasant publicity. What advice would you give to individuals who may be identified as alleged abusers? Individuals who think they will be identified as alleged abusers should engage lawyers at the earliest opportunity and then in conjunction with those lawyers choose an appropriate time to make approaches to the inquiry team and all the prosecuting authorities to ensure that if there is to be an interview it is dealt with as a volunteer and without the publicity of an arrest, a dawn raid so to speak and also to ensure that the inquiry is undertaken in such a way that their rights to a fair trial aren't prejudiced.